Uganda could lose much of its forests by 2050 because of the growing demand for charcoal. The charcoal business is growing, meaning that more trees are being cut to supply families and businesses that rely heavily on charcoal for energy. Michael Baleke reports. <clears throat> a charcoal brings his axe to cut down a tree. Many of Uganda's tree species are facing extinction because of charcoal burning. Charcoal burning is the main economic activity at this forest in central Uganda. I have been in the charcoal business for almost 20 years. I make a living out of it to sustain my home and family. I have bought land and even created other businesses out of charcoal trade. According to a recent report by Uganda's environment body, the country loses over 73,000 hectares of forest cover annually. And environmentalists believe this could be responsible for the recent harsh weather conditions across the country. This was once a thick forest, but as you can see, many of the trees have been cut down, mainly for charcoal. But for the young men who work here, it's a way out of poverty. These tree fellers know well the danger that comes out of charcoal burning, but the absence of alternative jobs gives them no option. I cut down trees for charcoal because of poverty, nothing else. However, we spare a few for the sake of the environment, because we need sheds for our crops, which we grow in places where the trees have been cleared. A huge percentage of Ugandan homes use charcoal for cooking. A bag of charcoal goes for about 25 US dollars. And as the population grows, coupled with rapid urbanization, the demand for energy, especially cooking fuel, has increased. What should be done is uh, to look for alternatives for the communities, for the citizens, for the people. For example, alternatives for energy. Why can't we put money into uh, energy saving stoves for communities uh, so that we use less uh, uh, wood uh, to, to cook food? Uh, why can't we put money in solar? Only about 10% of Uganda's population has access to electricity and in rural areas it's less than 5%. But the country's environment management authorities say discussions are underway to strengthen the legal system, which they say is slow to handle environmental crime. Right now we are negotiating with the Directorate of Public Prosecutions to, to have prosecutors. And once I've got special uh, prosecutors who are sensitized and trained in handling environmental crime, then we also want to have a, a fast track court which will handle environmental crime. Chaco is estimated at 6% of the total energy consumption and is expanding at the same rate as urbanization. And a recent report by the National Environment Management Authority warned that Uganda could lose the rest of its forest cover by the year 2050 unless dramatic steps are taken to reverse the situation. Michael Baleke CCTV, Mukono, Central Uganda.